Tom's interior, so we're heading outside with Frank. It's early March in the garden. It's a perfect time to go walk around and see what winter woes have impacted. Here in Ontario, we've had a lot of high winds that have impacted the trees, so we have a lot of fallen branches. It's a perfect time to get out there and start to pick up those branches, clean up that debris. While you're doing that, I want you to look up in the air and look at that tree. If you see any weak branches, weak points, call an arborist. We want to make sure you're safe this spring season. From the trees, we go on to the lawn. Lawns take a lot of abuse during the winter months. This is an example of snow mold caused by some of the blades falling over in heavy compacted snow. But you gotta look for mold tunnels, mice tunnels, and those are all the things that you can look at right now, but you're gonna repair later on. Here's another example of the winds. You can just see how many leaves have been kicked around. A little early to rake right now, but that's gonna be my first thing, raking. Remember when you're raking, only to do it in small batches. A lot of people hurt themselves by raking. Oh, look at that, more debris. I'll get that cleaned up too. On the upside, look here in the herb garden, we got some time, it overwintered nicely, but I like to take advantage of those days where you can go out and clean up. You can see with the sage here, I'm just gonna cut this back, prune them off. A clean garden's one that's gonna be nice and healthy, so if you have the time, take the time and clean up as much as you can. And finally, take a look at your hardscapes, and hardscapes are like decks, fences, and of course, walkways. Winter, frosts and thaws of winter, creates heaving. And you can see over here where your walkway, where we have a little bit of heat even with that patio slab, well that becomes a tripping hazard. So those paving stones, patio slabs, once the frost gets out of the ground, you're gonna lift them up and then relay them and make them picture perfect. And I'm hoping that you have a picture perfect garden season.